Happy New Year, Floss Tube. Welcome to 2019. What's that you say? What's that thing wrapped around my neck? Well, I'm glad you asked. I finished my Meet Me in the Middle shawl. So that's the back of it. I'll to bring it around and I'll show you the front. It is washed, blocked, ends woven in. And there's the beautiful charcoal border. And it is done. Done, done, done. Done and I am wearing it. It's the perfect size for just a little bit of warmth on my shoulders, around the house, and I know I'm gonna wear it under my coat to go outside, things like that. So, I finished something, ta-da! However, I know this isn't a knitting podcast. This is all about stitching, and you're not here for knitting particularly today. You're here to know who won the giveaway, the big giveaway. Before we get to the giveaway, just a little bit of business to take care of before I announce the names of the winners. Um, Ever Tote, the, the, my bag business, um, I've been taking a little bit of time off over the holidays. As of today, I am back at work and I have some orders backed up. If you are waiting for your bag, if you're waiting for notification that your bag is going out, you should start to see those in the next couple of days. I am working as fast as I can to get, I have a, a fair backlog of orders to get through and I'm going to not be putting any new bags in the shop until after everybody's bag, everybody who has already ordered a bag until it's left my door. So no new bags in the shop until after that's taken care of. So if you're waiting for your bag, thank you for your patience. I enjoyed a wonderful holiday with my family. My kids are still on break and that's why I'm still recording up here because they're downstairs and it's much quieter up here. So um, you should see your bag leave. You'll receive a notification in your email when your bag is sent out from me to you. Okay, are we ready? Drum roll please. We had 82 individual people make donations to Beagle Paws, the Beagle Rescue out in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And uh, Patty, this was Patty Brake's choice of charity. I, I'm sure you know by now, um, but in case this is the first time you're joining us on, um, on my channel, I'll just fill you in on the details. Uh, for Flossmas, I asked Patty to design a, an ornament for Flossmas 2018 and I plan to finish mine in the days ahead and part of the proceeds from that ornament were going to go directly to a charity of her choice. She has volunteered before with Beagle Paws and they used to have a beagle of their own and so she knew the good work that they did and that's why she chose them. And we also used to have a rescue beagle of our own and his name was Eddie and he is the little beagle that you saw at the end of every single Flossmas episode. Um, the little dog, the little beagle with his paws up on the couch. That was my dog, Eddie. We adopted him as a senior. We think, the vet thinks, estimates that he was about eight years old when we adopted him. And uh, he was part of a puppy mill uh, breeding, some sort of, uh, not, it wasn't a very nice life that he led before us. He wasn't house trained. He wasn't, you know, he was terrified of men. Um, it took about a year for him to calm down. Not calm down. He was, he was, you know, get over his nerves around people in general. And he just turned into the loveliest little dog we ever could have asked for. And so Beagle Rescue, dog rescue, animal groups in general are near and dear to my heart. And so... Um, I thought this was a great charity. 82 of you agreed and sent money to the organization. As your emails came to me, I assigned your email a number and that was your number in the draw. So uh, out of, I used the random number generator this morning and went through, I, I had everything in order from one to 82 and then I used the random number generator each time to choose a new number um, for the draw. 
So drum roll, please. The very first entry that won was, con was donation number 61, which belonged to Mary Humphreys. Congratulations, Mary. Yours was the first comment chosen, and you are going to receive a bag set from Evertote. The second comment that was chosen was comment number, so I'm comment email. I'm gonna use those interchangeably because I'm used to saying comment. I'll get to it, here we go. Number 33, which belonged to Jennifer Petralia. Congratulations, Jennifer. You are going to be receiving the Little House Needleworks Alphabet Sampler Houses, and I have a feeling that you're going to love them. The third email that was chosen was number 26, which belonged to Kim Pembleton. And Kim, interestingly enough, I've only just recently been in contact with because she lives very close to me here in London. She lives in Ingersoll. And so I'm hoping, Kim, that maybe we can get together and I can deliver your large bag to you personally because it would be nice to meet someone, another stitcher who lives so close to me. So congratulations, Pim, Kim Pembleton. You are the winner of a large Evertote bag. The next email that was selected, the next number, was number 47, which belonged to Mary Nice. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. Nice or Nice, N-E-I-S. You are the lucky winner of the full set of Prairie Schooler Alphabet Charts, and I know you're going to love them because they're fabulous. The fifth number that was chosen was number 31, and that belonged to Sheila Needham. You are the winner of an Evertote bag set. Congratulations, Sheila. The very last number that was chosen was, was email number nine, and number nine belonged to Carol Austin. Congratulations, Carol. I know that you are gonna love your bag set. Congratulations. So congratulations, everybody. If you haven't heard from me by the time you see this video, because I have to get back to work, so I'm gonna I'm gonna edit, no editing to this video. I'm just gonna load it onto YouTube and I'm gonna get it going. If you see this before I manage to email you later tonight that you've won, please just shoot me an email. That would actually probably be an even bigger time saver for me. If you have won a bag set, please let me know which color of scissor fabric that you would prefer for your bag. Either the, um, it's a red, a blue, or a, a yellow. It's not really a yellow, you, you saw it. Go back a few videos if you haven't seen it and you were lucky enough to win the bag and then you can choose your fabric and let me know. If you hate that fabric, please let me know and I will, I will select something else for you. I have a few other choices, but I, I like that they all kind of match and that's the giveaway bag. Um, but don't feel free. Don't feel you have to take it if you absolutely hate it. But it's, come on, it's scissors or stitchers, right? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so that's it. Congratulations, everybody. Happy Flossmas, Happy New Year. Thank you so much again for donating and really it, it, made, it made my holiday season just so much sweeter have, receiving all of your wonderful emails and comments. So thanks again guys. I will see you again on Friday because I'm returning to Friday Stitch With Me's. I've missed them. I've missed doing them and I've missed chatting with you in that type of setting. So I intend to record a video Friday morning and have that up so that we can stitch together on Friday evening. Feel free to join us on Friday Off The Grid if you aren't there already for one of the best groups of stitchers on the internet. Wonderfully inspiring and just all around nice people. So thanks again, congratulations, and I'll see you on Friday. Happy stitching.